Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me today for Young Kids Math. We are problem solvers. Today, we're going to start off by practicing our numbers in sand. Then we'll read a book, up, up, up. And we'll practice up and down. Next, we'll read a book called How Much is a Million? And we'll practice finding a million with our abacus. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Let's get our fingers out. Which finger do you want to work with? Let's go with number one first. One. Come straight down and that is all. One. That looks a little crooked, so maybe I'll try again. One. Come straight down and that is all. One. Two. Curl around and slide to the right. Hmm. I'll try that one again. Curl around and slide to the right. Ready for three? Halfway around and around again. Three. Okay, ready for four? Down, slide right, and cut it in half. That's our four. Down, slide right, and cut it in half. Oh, I love five. Down and around and give it a hat. Five. Ready for six? Slant on down and give it a curl. Six. Slant on down and give it a curl. Seven. Slide to the right and then slant down. Seven. Oh, are you ready for eight? Make an S and go back home. Eight. Make an S and go back home. Eight. Ready for nine? Okay, here comes nine. Make a circle and go back down. Nine. Make a circle and go back down. That was so cool. Ready to count down from ten? Do you know how to make a 10? We learned how to make a one, but what about a zero? One is one line all the way down. And a zero starts at the top and meets up again. Nine has a circle and then a line. Eight, make an S and go back home. Seven, slide to the right and slant down. Six, oh. ready for six? Slant on down and give it a swirl. Six. Five, down and around, and give it a hat. <laughs> Are we ready for four? Oh, there's so many things going on with a four. Do you remember? Down to the right and cut it in half. Down to the right and cut it in half. Ready for three? Halfway around and around again. Three. Ready for two. Curl around and 
and slide to the right. Are you ready for one? Come straight down. And that is all. Straight down. That was fun. Thank you so much for practicing numbers with me. Let's read the book, Up, 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 by Susan Reed, illustrated by Rachel Oldfield. I like to sing this one. Up, 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 up in a balloon, up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high. I can fly, I know how. Trains are fun. Race cars are fast. Riding bikes down the river is a blast. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd go ballooning to the stars so I could fly. Up, 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 up in a balloon, up so high I can touch the moon, up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high. I can fly, I know how. Some creatures swim, others climb. My kind talk all the time. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd trade places with a bird so I could fly. Look at all those birds. Up, 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 up in a balloon. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, up. Up, sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high. I can fly, I know how. I feel the rush of the wind as we climb higher. I taste the cold, I touch the air, I am the sky. Cats and dogs, bears and monkeys. Can you find the cats and the dogs and the bears and the monkeys? There's one dog and there's another dog. Where's the cat? There's a cat. What about the bears? There's the bears. What about the monkeys? Right there. Cars and buildings, all those cities. Jungles, mountains, and countries, they're blending into just one color. And it's green. I'm headed up, up, up. Up in a balloon, up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high. I can fly, I know how. So, can we really fly to the moon in an air balloon? Not really, but in our imaginations, we can do anything. See, with the balloon, we can't really leave the Earth's atmosphere. And in order to get to the moon, we'd have to do that. What can we take to the moon? We could take a rocket to the moon. But that's not really fun to imagine like a balloon. Balloon rides are so fun, you can see so much along the way. Rockets are so fast, you don't really see much. 
I had so much fun reading this book with you today. Thank you for reading Up, Up, Up with me. Now, I really like another song that I'm going to sing with you, and I'm going to pretend like my fingers are going all the way up and then all the way down. Wow. Did you hear what I did with my voice there? I kind of took my voice up and then back down again. So, are we ready for another song? What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down, must come down. What goes up must come down, what goes up must come down, what goes up must come down, must come down. Can you sing it with me? Let's sing it slow. What goes up must come down, what goes up must come down, what goes up must come down, must come down. And let's sing it fast together. How fast can you do it? Let's go pretty fast. What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down, must come down. Can we do it even faster? What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down, must come down. That was pretty silly. Thanks for doing that with me. Now it's time to read the book, How Much is a Million, by David M. Schwartz, pictures by Stephen Kellogg. How much is a million? If one million kids climbed on one another's shoulders, they would be... Oh dear, this looks very high. Taller than the tallest buildings. Higher than the highest mountains and further up than airplanes can fly. If you wanted to count from one to one million, it would take you about 23 days. Whew, that is fast if you counted by ones. If a goldfish bowl were big enough for a million goldfish... It would be large enough to hold a whale. Oh, my. Whew. Presto, 100 stars. Right there, 100 of them. If this book had a million tiny stars, they would fill, fill 70 pages. Whew. Climb aboard. Are we going up, up, up in a balloon? And looking at the stars along the way, do you see all the stars on that page? There's lots of little ones and lots of big ones. <gasps> There's even more here. Oh, so many stars. Oh, my. Look at all these stars. Oh, dear. What does this say? There you have 100,000 stars. If we take it. This seven-page journey ten times will pass a million stars. Let's do that later. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Hmm. Oh, looks like they're at the refreshment stand where they have drinks and water. How big is a billion? Oh, dear, this is going to be big. If a billion kids made a human tower... They would stand up past the moon. If you sat down to count from one to one billion, you would be counting for 95 years. If you found a goldfish bowl large enough to hold a billion goldfish, it would be as big as a stadium. Whew. If this book had a billion tiny stars, its pages Spread side by side would stretch almost ten miles. How tremendous is a trillion? If a trillion kids stood on top of each other, they would reach way, way, way beyond the moon. 
beyond Mars and Jupiter too, and almost as far as Saturn's rings. If you wanted to count from one to one trillion, it would take you almost two hundred thousand years. <sighs> if you put a trillion goldfish in a goldfish bowl, the bowl would have to be as big as a city harbor. <gasps> wow, that is a big goldfish bowl. If you put a trillion of our stars onto a gigantic roll of paper, it would stretch all the way from New York to New Zealand. Oh my. That's the end. That was a lot of numbers. Whew. Let's take a moment to look at our abacus. And let's talk about how much is a million when we look at our abacus. Here we have ones, so that's one. And here we have tens, so that's ten. Here we have a hundreds, that's one hundred. This is, do you know? You don't know? It's a thousand. This is ten thousand. <gasps> This is 100,000. Do you know what'll be next? This is 1 million. <gasps> that is a big number. What if I wanted to make a number that is 1 million 200,000 30 One million two hundred thirty thousand. Oh, thirty four thousand. One million two hundred thirty four thousand. What number do you think will be next with the pattern I'm doing? You're right, it's going to be five. One million two hundred thirty four thousand. You ready? Five hundred. What's next? Sixty. Seven. Hmm. That's kind of fun. It's a little pattern. Now, are there numbers bigger than a million? Yes, we heard about them in the book. They can go very high. How many do you think you'll count to today? Maybe you'll count all the way to 10. Maybe you'll count all the way to 100. Wouldn't that be fun? I bet you'll have fun practicing that today. Thank you all for joining me today for Young Kids Math. Today, we started off ooh, with our sand. We practiced making some numbers in our sand. Do you remember that? Then after that, we read a book, Up, 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 by Susan Reed, illustrated by Rachel Oldfield. After that, we practiced what goes up must come down. And then we read a book, How Much is a Million, by David M. Schwartz and pictures by Stephen Kellogg. After that, we spent just a little bit of time reviewing what a million looks like with our abacus. We made a little pattern along the way, didn't we? Thank you again for joining me for Young Kids Math. Now go out and solve some problems.